meron for second Erico. Ah, na. No, the recording sound. So, let me open this session. Hello everyone, good afternoon. It's me again. Um, I am Furkan Jamil from HR and right now I'm going to moderate the Eric Coast intern graduation presentation. So, um, here today we have um, Kariza as the uh, vice chaplain of marketing. Hi Kariza. And also we have uh, Gani here as someone's just breaking into the room. No, 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 no. <laughs> as the online content creator of Lucky Pistol, the senior content creator. And also we have Kak Nadia here as our lovely UI UX designer. And we also have Victoria here as our intern at Lucky Pistol. And last but not least, we have the star of the day today, which is Erico, which is Erico from Digital Marketing Intern. Eh, and now we also have one guest attending today, uh, which is Kabayu Setiawan as our CTO, Chief Technology Officer here at Bukit Vista. Okay, now uh, let's proceed to the presentation. Erico, are you ready? Uh, yes, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, that's another yeah, you ready to go. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Cool, cool. So, Erico. Please take it away. Okay, thank you. Um, so thank you for calling for the introduction. Um, so before I uh, begin proper, can everyone see my full screen here? So um, I can't exactly see your screen, so you have to yes. probably let me know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, we can yeah. see. It. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to attend my intern graduation presentation today. Um, my presentation will be structured as follow. So first, for better context, I will share a little of my daily work responsibilities. And from there on, I will share what I think are my biggest achievements and finally conclude by sharing some of the uh, most invaluable lessons that I have learned in my time here with Bukit Vista. So first up, my work scope in a nutshell. So as most of you will be well aware by now, uh, my main task is to optimize the Manage My Property page on Bukit Vista's website um, to convert uh, web visitors into partner leads. So to achieve this, I will have pairing sessions with the different uh, chapter personnel to gain a more holistic understanding of what each um, service and uh, see for the most attractive aspects to market on the uh, MMT page. And um, to support this notion, I will then conduct a competitor analysis and interface research before collaborating with uh, our UI UX designer, Nadia, for the actual execution of the uh, on the WordPress Elementor. So apart from the MMP page, I'm also involved in cooperating for some other pages. So for instance, some of my works include the um, upcoming Prime uh, uh, Bayou site project as well as the community pages. So to support the website campaign, um, I also led a team to front a new innovation, the chat project, and to date, um, the initial experimental phase has been concluded. And even as we speak, uh, more pivots are being made to you know, fully milk the potential of this operation. And um, this partner journey framework here sums up neatly our findings and future opportunities for Bukit Vista's uh, website and chat operations. So for my site project, I'm in charge of uh, conducting research and drawing up a comprehensive monthly and weekly outline of you know, viable and trending discussion topics for our blog articles. Um, so this is to ensure that uh, you know, Bukit Vista remains relevant to our end consumers. And um, finally, because Bukit Vista also practices uh, written communication, so as and when possible, I like to hop onto different channel discussions and give my two cents worth. Uh, that is if anyone would like to take my opinion, of course. <laughs> Um, okay, among these works is a paper that I did on housekeeping best practices in which I researched on the current housekeeping trends um, and weighted the pros and cons of each suggestion and sorted the ideas by property type. So this paper has been delivered to uh, Nadine for conveyance to the community chapter. So um, having shared my works, right, uh, what do I then think are my greatest achievements? So firstly, I believe that as a result of um, you know, active pivot and uh, maintenance, um, at its peak, I saw an increased average time spent on the MMP page by uh, more than 30%. And um, next, the chat project, which was initially planned as a support for the MMP page campaign, um, has seemed to take on a life on its own with positive results and hence, likely a continuing legacy that will live on. 
And finally, I've taken the first steps to, you know, unify the um, BV brand. A vital move, uh, I believe, is needed as we expand the Bukit Vista family uh, bigger and bigger. And this project will carry on across uh, chapters and is a legacy that I hope um, will continue um, so that we can breathe life into the Bukit Vista brand. So as in all healthy relationships, there's what we call the give and take. And my relationship here with uh, Bukit Vista is also uh, not much different. So as with what I gave Bukit Vista in terms of the work I produced, um, I've also received and in the form of invaluable lessons and life experiences. So I've broken the, uh, this, um, my learnings into two categories, um, technical and non-technical skills. So I will not delve too much into the technicalities, but uh, basically I would like to thank my marketing mentors here, Rizal and Ghani, for placing your faith in uh, me and bringing me on board to explore the different uh, aspects of digital marketing by engaging me in the different campaigns on Trello. And I'm you know, most certain that this uh, marketing specific skills will further my understanding of the marketing profession, be it in my studies or professional career in the future. And of course, I have uh, Nadia and my fellow uh, interns, uh, namely uh, Zaki and Kyla, who I work on with the on the live chat project to thank to you know, for introducing me to so many new digital platforms uh, that is on the screen that I never even knew existed before I entered Bukit Vista. So if anything, um, this goes to show how far technology has progressed and how marketers today, you know, need to stay up to date um, and leverage on these new um, innovative technologies to uh, remain relevant um, in our uh, strategies. So on this note, um, I think that you also be, you know, of equally uh, of equal importance, if not more uh, important to actually share my lifelong takeaways from my journey here at Bukit Vista. So um, firstly, I learned that perhaps the biggest difference between doing projects in university and working on real life problems is that unlike a school project, um, in, in reality, we cannot always wait to submit a piece of work only after everything has been perfected uh, to, the, uh, uh, to, uh, to the final detail. So sometimes we have no choice but to submit the best iteration um, of, uh, of that moment because in the real world, um, time is of essence and every second can break or break a deal. So secondly, I experienced firsthand how things might not always um, proceed in a manner that uh, that we plan or I plan. For instance, uh, we see how partners are scrutinizing the booking page, uh, which was never in fact optimized for them, right? And how the live chat, despite its name, live chat, uh, uh, appear to be more successful in harvesting offline than online leads, at least at the moment. So. Um, third, I've also learned how to collaborate and work with other teams like, uh, you know, Nadia and the PD team to ensure that each of our department goals are met. So, um, you know, constantly pivoting and working around uh, many technical constraints imposed by WordPress ele elementors and my live chat. So I'm sure that Nadia here knows what I'm talking about. And uh, thank you for tolerating and walking me through this uh, frustrating process. So, um, you know, to conclude, I thought really long and hard about um, how I could sum up my Bukit Vista journey here in a mere few words. And I thought that perhaps there's no better statement, uh, uh, no better and simpler statement than this. Um, so every end is just a new beginning. Now, I know that this might sound rather uh, cliche, but allow me to explain. So I thought that this statement actually resonates with me in three stages um, before I joined Bukit Vista, during my tenth year in Bukit Vista, and the path ahead after I conclude my chapter here in Bukit Vista. So um, to elaborate, so before the COVID-19 um, pandemic, um, I would never have thought of joining a startup and moreover a non-local one. But as um, the major hospitality co uh, corporations, you know, rescinded opportunities, I eventually found myself here in Bukit Vista and unintentionally, uh, because of this move, uh, um, finding myself in a startup, I found myself even closer to the field of marketing that I'm most interested and passionate about, which is about consumer behavior, because there's so many aspects of marketing. And uh, consumer behavior is the direction that I'm looking forward uh, uh, to study more in the future. And then um, in Bukit Vista, during my journey here in Bukit Vista, due to the lack of um, you know, online interactions or the live chat, I thought and was entirely ready to conclude the chat project as a failure. But then things took a positive turn unexpectedly and we saw the, you know, the chat project having potential to generate uh, offline leads. And then finally, for the road ahead, um, 
you know, though my official internship scheme uh, ends today, I would not say that my journey or relationship with um, Bukit Vista is at a dead end. In fact, because I have plans to um, pursue a career in the tourism and hospitality industry, uh, I believe that so long as we are in the, that we are still in the same industry, um, if we are destined to meet, and um, uh, if we are destined to meet, we will. And with this, um, I think I conclude my presentation for today. And I thank um, each and every one of you uh, for being here on this delightful journey uh, here with me uh, uh, on my time with Fujibista. And thank you. Oh my God, thank you very much, Enrico. And congratulations for your achievement that she indeed here with the Vista. So <clears throat> let's proceed. So, uh, by the way, you could stop sharing, Enrico. You want to. Oh, sure. <laughs> okay, um, let's proceed to the testimonials, should we? Um, for the first one, I would like to go for Erica. Eh, sorry, Erica. Victoria. Victoria, you would like to say something to Erica? Mm, maybe. Um, this is a little bit like, uh, because uh, actually Eriko really helped me a lot during my, this is actually entering my second week here in Bukit Vista and actually Eriko really helped me a lot to adapting here in Bukit Vista, the culture, the people, and also the workflow. And also uh, I got handover uh, from the Eriko project itself. So I think, yeah, I really learned a lot from the Eriko and I really uh, grateful from the help that Eriko Okay, thank you very much, Victoria, for your nice words. Uh, coming next to Kak Nadia. Okay, thank you. Um, I just want to say thank you so much, Eriko. I actually learned a lot from you in terms of the like the marketing perspective and also uh, like so many things actually we discussed about during our projects, uh, working on our projects together. So yeah, thank you so much for everything. I hope you the best uh journey in the future and thank you okay thank you so much kanadia for the work and to um kagani all right uh thank you for that and thank you very much eriko for all your contribution uh, during uh in, in marketing chapter uh, to be honest i learned a lot from your intelligent analysis about the website about the uh, uh, against um, Mr. Zik opinion on a trailer card and such things. So, yeah, I I never have seen uh, the deep understanding uh, when 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 some interns uh, do the complex work. So yeah, it's, it's a very uh, insightful for me, and I I I think that your your work is not just just appear just uh, temporary. I I believe it will be just sustainable and it's part of your legacy here so yeah congratulations Erika. okay thank you very much Kagani for your words coming next to Kariza uh, just that your achievement I believe you have a lot of achievement here in, in marketing team I mean on, on the website campaign only you you um, I don't know you 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 generate a better result I mean it's not only leads it's not only traffic but you know, like insight, you know, like ideas, you know, like innovations. I think you uh, you generate uh, more more than uh, the result that you you basically uh, create on your pitch uh, on your presentation. Yeah, I think um, you uh, you deserve better. I mean, you deserve a better uh, what is it called presentation in this in this uh, in this session. I believe. So yeah, that's that's uh, <laughs> what is called my comment on your presentation. Yeah, so yeah, I, I expect more uh, uh, rather than just just that. So um, for me is Eriko is uh, people that have uh, great ownership. <clears throat> I mean, um, on the website itself, she uh, able to she able to learn and she able to implement uh, what she learned. So. Uh, that's the 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 thing that I I applaud to 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 Eriko because yeah uh, she have a great ownership even um he like like you know um he collaborate with with Nadia he collaborate with BD team he collaborate with GM team to um you know like uh, increase the the website conversion and <laughs> I think 
that's a, a, a great ownership uh, based on that. And also, <coughs> uh, great innovation. I think, um, you know, uh, in website, there's a lot of uh, variable, there's a lot of elements, but Eric uh, uh, came up came up with, with uh, live chat uh, features, which basically I'm not sure it will, uh, in the beginning, yeah, I'm not sure it will be uh, generate any leads or not, but yeah, it's it's happened. It's it's uh, generate one leads basically. So um, from from this point, uh, she able to uh, make the the idea and transform it into real action and uh, generate a result. And I think that's um, that's the what is it called yeah the symbol of uh, positively transform uh, from from the intern side. And other than that is be the hero and help other help others to uh, help themselves. So this is basically came from uh, uh, she, uh, her her idea on you know like uh, discussion scrum sync up and discussion on Trello. I believe uh, Erico have uh, um, what is it called teach us and share with us and give the insights and I think that's very. Um, very valuable uh, to to me basically and also to marketing team uh, for for the bigger scope and yeah that's that and one uh, last thing is that I want to uh, <coughs> congratulate to to Eriko basically so um, I noticed that uh, you uh, Eriko you 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 are a, a willing to learn person so in it's not so in the beginning is um, I'm not sure with Eriko because. Um, you know, like uh, when when I give her challenge, okay, Rizal, I will give you uh, the update about one week. So that's that's a really a long time, right? I mean, uh, to to so to to see the result, to see the uh, what is called the MVP. So yeah, I believe from that uh, challenge, uh, Eriko is uh, what is called able to develop faster from from the from the uh, beginning until now. So. Yeah, that's that. So that's uh, the thing, uh, willing to learn. Uh, but not only that, uh, Erika also able to implement the learning uh, learning phase into actionables, into implementation to create innovation. Yeah, so that's uh, that for me. Um, <coughs> Erika, I congratulate you uh, for that. And yeah, uh, happy graduation. <laughs> I guess Karizal is like this, isn't it? Yeah, can you read me? Okay. okay, so... Um... Uh, through the end of the internship, uh, you're definitely uh, doing better. You are uh, you understanding more uh, from the uh, business perspective on how to do digital marketing and and uh, things like SEO or uh, or, or copywriting. Uh, that uh, that's a that's a good thing if uh, if we can realize that uh, you actually get something out of this internship program. And uh, like I think we 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 talk about this uh, multiple times. Uh, 
uh, I do recognize that uh, you have a very good uh, analytical thinking, and uh, and that's actually not just uh, not just a random uh, feedback that you are given, but uh, actually with with some ba uh, a good background and good uh, logical thinking. So that's what uh, I guess. That's also a motivation for other people here, right? Uh, whether it's uh, to the other interns or. Uh, to the uh, people that are uh, working in Bukit Vista, that that uh, your way of seeing things uh, or your perspective in analyzing problems is actually helping us uh, move forward and, and becoming better at what we do. So that's it. Uh, I congratulate you and go, uh, yeah, good luck with your next uh, whatever happening, uh, study uh, or career or your life. Uh, good luck and uh, I hope you reach whatever you want to uh, achieve the next. Uh, thank you. So uh, maybe before, I'm not too sure whether Pokorn wants to conclude this, but maybe before Pokorn you conclude it, uh, maybe I'll also like to just say a few words uh, to um, all these um, mm -hmm. uh, nice people who have said uh, so, so many nice things to me. Um, I will address the specific messages to, uh, to uh, our Slack, the specific messages to the specific uh, people, but just in general, um, I just wanted to, uh, you know, highlight a, a few things uh, that I like to thank the mentors here about. So initially, um, definitely, uh, I saw that people brought up that uh, Bayou and Rizal actually brought up as to uh, how initially I wasn't adapting that well. I totally agree. I took some time to do the work. Uh, I think at some, I think the longest I took two weeks to actually submit a piece of work. <laughs> yeah, and that was actually why in my uh, presentation, one of the most valuable lessons that I actually took away from this was that you know perfection doesn't necessarily work in the real world we have to submit what is the best solution at that moment uh, even though it may not be perfected so that was one of the really really valuable lessons that i had from this uh bukit vista um, internship and just um in general also um i'm not too sure whether anyone might have realized or or not but um um uh, sometimes my opinions may not necessarily be right but uh going on with what uh, Bayou actually mentioned about strategic thinking. Um, I'm actually trained in um, corporate marketing because being from a public university uh, in Singapore, I'm actually trained in corporate marketing, not really in startup marketing. So henceforth, coming to things like frameworks and everything, uh, it really like I wouldn't say I'm the most versed in them. I actually have to do a lot of research into doing things like frameworks because I, in corporate marketing, we have expected the frameworks to be there and we are just doing execution. <laughs> yeah. So that is really the difference uh, between doing an internship here at the startup and in any other corporate that I might apply to in the future. So um, I thank the mentors here for actually, you know, guiding me through this process although it might be actually very painstaking because i have different points of view because i come again i come from corporate perspective and people are like no this is not applicable so um thank you for sharing your insights and guiding me to to to, to uh to show me the difference between how uh, eventually a startup business and uh, and uh, you know a multinational corporation might differ in terms of its business strategies objectives and campaigns and, uh, in general yep so uh, just thank you everyone for the uh, guidance and being so nice and highly regarding all, all my uh, opinions. So that is something that I think um, that I really will uh, value as a cherished memory uh, even beyond my journey from uh, Bukit Vista. Yeah, thank you. To everyone. Okay, thank you very much, Eriko, for your nice words. Yeah. Um, okay, <clears throat> I guess uh, since everyone already saying good things too, Eriko, we could um, conclude um, this Eriko's graduation presentation. Uh, so um, Eriko, as like what everyone said, we I see, I could see that you have a bright future ahead. So yeah, so see you on top. Thank you very much, Eriko, for attending here at Bukit Vista, and also thank you every uh, thank you very much everyone for coming to this uh, graduation presentation. And also yes, this is your um, offboarding date. So congratulations to finish your internship here in Bukit Vista, Eriko. But one question, uh, Eriko, uh, when do you, when you can attend the, um, what is it, farewell party, Ekin, our HR for the bottom panel, which usually manages the farewell party and such. Um, if you choice, like whether you would like to do it on Wednesday, 
5 p.m. or Thursday 5 p.m. No, Wednesday or Thursday 5 p.m. I feel lesson. <laughs> Wednesday 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, Thursday I feel lesson. Okay, cool, cool. So I could uh, pass your answer to her. Okay, so then so it is settled. Thank you, everyone. Like, uh, once again, thank you very much for coming. And Karizon, please do not forget to upload the recording. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Thank you for hosting. See you, everyone. Thank See you. you. Bye bye, everyone.